channel if you're new here my name is Louise I am proud mum to two adult children Blossom who doesn't live with us anymore Corey who does and I've got two dogs Chip and Dow who I'm sure you've just heard one of them running up and down the hallway and going nuts as soon as I put the camera on about right I tell you that just so you know who I'm actually shopping for my channel is a haul every Saturday at five o'clock hence this one and I do videos during the week of just whatever's going on in my life if you enjoy that sort of thing and you'd like to see more don't forget to subscribe down below uh, if you enjoy this and you want to comment a like a comment great I love it so now that bit's out of the way I'm on a 60 pound budget normally and I I think I average about 40 pound most of the time but I have that budget there to cover me for you know birthdays and um, when Christmas comes up I have a bit of a build up stuff like that I've got a whole hair thing going on here that was bugging me sorry um, it's gonna do it again but with all the price increases and stuff it I've I've noticed a difference. I have actually got quite a lot of food here. So what happened this week is I normally shop. This is for people who don't know. I do have fibro. I mention it a lot because it does make a difference to the way I shop. I don't shop online. I've tried it once or twice. But I've not actually managed to even get to purchase in. I just, I like, I have my routine, you know, the way I walk through the store. I like looking at the bargains and the deals and stuff like that. I enjoy that bit of it. And it's my excuse to feel like I'm going to a shop and spending because I don't do it that often. The shop, the food shop is like your excuse, isn't it? So this week, I actually shop on a Friday and I haul on a Saturday because of the fibro. I can't do both in one day. But I actually had to do two shops this week. So I shopped yesterday. It was a weird day. It just took me so many hours to get to the point where I actually went out. I didn't shop until six in the evening. That's not how late I normally shop. Oh my God, the difference in the stock is ridiculous. I am really, really shocked. For those poor people that can only shop in the evening, like, you know, work or whatever your commitments are, and you can only shop in the evening, that is terrible. I am so surprised. Like, I thought Asda restocked throughout the day six o'clock this shop shut at 12 because i had to confirm because online there was three times i don't know which what's going on there so i'd got three times on the, the online so i didn't really know what time it was going to shut so i did check and they said 12 o'clock i was there at six o'clock you can get any fruit it was like there were a random one or two things around i came out the store with only lemons um, you'll see some other bits I got there, but it was really really bad. There was empty shelves everywhere The cereal aisles were empty and I don't go down the cereal aisle that much uh, Bread was empty those poor people. I feel so sorry for people that are actually restricted on only shopping in the evening So yeah, I had to sh shop again this morning because I had to get my fresh food and the bits that I couldn't get off I actually did have a little bit of a list and I couldn't get most of it on my list So one thing I did do though is it's actually Corey's birthday Thursday I was going to make a cheesecake, so I I do scan and go. I picked up a lot of my bits for the cheesecake, and then I like looked at it and worked out how much it was going to cost. I didn't have strawberries yet, and I know strawberries are expensive. And for the amount I needed, I would need two big punnets. So I'd worked out it's going to be like nine pounds for one cheesecake. Now Corey had already said you're going to do it good this time because I know how your cooking is charming. It that's my son. Um, so I decided not to get the ingredients. So I went back, put them all back. And I had a chat with Cor and he said he's fine with just a frozen cheesecake. He doesn't really care. So I've actually bought some strawberries to go with it. But yeah, home cooking is not encouraged, clearly, because it's so cheap to get a cheesecake. 77p for a cheesecake, already made, everything's done, haven't got to do anything with it. Or make your own and it's going to cost you 8, 9 quid. Yeah. So financially, right in hell... Corey's not going to get a homemade cake. I did say to him I would do it. I would spend it to him. If he actually said, no, you know, I'd, I'd like a homemade one, I would definitely have done it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that mean. Um, but, yeah, uh, so I had to shop twice because of um, I did get some strawberries anyway, but I couldn't get any fruit and vegetables yes, yesterday at all. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. And I'll tell you the prices at the end because I've got a number of seats and I keep working out and I'm going to have to rework it out again. So anyway, I've been talking for about five minutes and we've not done the haul yet. So welcome if you're new here, that's me. Let's get on with the haul. Okay, so my battery died, so I had to redo my battery. So I just quickly 
wanted to jump on before we start the haul. I know we will get there. I forgot to say I did go into Iceland on my way back from work yesterday because I work in town anyway. So I do have Iceland stuff as well. Now we'll get on to the haul. We have lemons here. These are 77p. I mean, uh, quite enjoying warm or cold lemon water at the moment. So I just picked up some of those as I haven't got any in store at all. Now. I've been, I buy tomatoes all the time and I bought the round ones in a punnet the other week. Uh, they're fine, so I thought I'd stick with them. But they're 89p for 375 grams, I think. These are 250 grams, 45p. So I've gone with these. I wasn't sure if to get one or two packets, but better off just going with one just in case they go off. Uh, but yeah, these are just your basic tomato. I like tomatoes with everything though. So we've got the strawberries, this is 250 punnet, um, pretty good one actually, there's quite a lot in there as well, this is uh, 400 grams. I'm going to slice some of them and put them on the cheesecake, I'm going to try and decorate it a little bit, it's got to be a, like make a little bit of it, <laughs> um, punnet of plums, which strangely enough, so the date on this one is the 6th of February. And the 8th of February ones, which you would think would be better, were way, way darker and softer than that. So this is way, way better. Plums in Asda right now are really, really good. So I would recommend plums right now. I don't know what the season is. I'm assuming this is right, but they're good. Bought some apples for cooking. I, I don't know. I've just got this thing in my head where I just want some softened hot apples. Don't even know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, but I've got it that in my head. Uh, six pint of semi-skim milk. This seems to be about right. It's doing us until the end of the week at the moment. Corey's around to me having some cereal, which he's actually asked me to pick some up. So, um, yeah, the six pints doing both of us really well. This is my regular, still 70p for a basic coffee. It is very basic. It's not hugely bitter. It's just a really nice coffee, and this does me about a week. I just picked up the one tuna. I usually pick up two. I'm thinking I should pick up two. Um but it's too late now uh, so yeah I'm really into tuna bakes I have one a week with Corey at the moment uh, newly into pasta it was never a thing for me before but I'm really really enjoying it so that will go in the tuna bake I picked up another spaghetti 35p for this one yes it's cheap and cheerful it's really really good though I've tried the cheaper version of the Asda spaghetti don't enjoy it and I've tried this Heinz and I don't enjoy it but for 35p this these ones are the loops this goes really good on toast bread ah, toast bread um <laughs> this is 65p now this is your basic loaf of bread tesco's does this one as well same color uh, coloring and everything uh but the tesco one's way way better so if ever you get the option and you're going to, into tesco's that one is better than the asda but i won't go into tesco's so we just deal with it. I picked up some crumpets. This was just because of the price and it will go in the freezer until I want them 10p. Couldn't not leave them there for that price. I, that's the only benefit to going into the shop later on in the day. That's the heating, just in case you're new here. Uh, Corey, I bought these for Corey last week for the first time for a long time. Uh, these are £1.60 for four buns. They're the really big ones, but they're just right size for the burgers that he has. And he really enjoyed these ones. So he asked for them specifically again. Two packets of biscuits. This is, uh, they're both 55p. I've bought the OT crumble ones. They will be for me because I don't think Corey would eat these. These are basic, both basic OT crumbles, digestives with chocolate on, 55p. They're just really good. So anybody that's really into brands, you shouldn't just, I advise you just to try it. Cheaper versions every now and again. Sometimes they really hit well. Not always, but sometimes they do. So I randomly, like these are the 55p ones, if they have the white label, which are the cheaper brand, I randomly try them as well. Some of them are really, really good. So hence the white brand. Kitchen roll, 99p for two of them. I don't go through this that often, but I seem to be using it a little bit more for cleaning things. Oh, Corey with his oily burgers last week. That's what it was. That's why I've gone through it. <laughs> um, yeah, so cheap and cheerful, but it works well. Corey asked for Crave. This is a very specific one that he has. Uh, he likes the milk chocolate. He doesn't like it because you can get the red one, which I'm not 100%. I think it's hazelnut. You'll have to let me know because I'm not sure, but I think it's hazelnut one. So this is the big 850 gram box, and that was £4, which is actually a really, really good price. 
I needed to get some more biscuits for the dogs. They get, they're get eating a lot recently and they're eating a lot of the dry food, which usually sits. They don't eat so much, but they're getting through it quite well. This one's £5.30. Now, I normally buy this when this is on a deal for £3 something. I can usually get it at that price between Wilkinson's and Asda, but I have been checking them both out the past few weeks. Really, I could have done with getting these a few weeks ago, but they've had other biscuits that kept them going, thank God. But yeah, I've been waiting it out and they're not reducing either of them. So I've had to pay full price for these £5.30 in Asda. And I bought their their dog food, 60p now. It's just gone up again. Most things have just gone up, so I'm not going to keep saying it. Uh, bought six of these. We've got three turkey and chicken pâtés and three beef pâtés. They also have Webox, which I mentioned before, and I've, they have a bit of each one during the week, so I don't need to get a whole week's worth of these. Now I do get a lot of uh, ready meals for Corey. He does night work and when he gets in from work he just wants to shove something in the oven whilst he's having a smoke or whatever and then dinner's done and he can take it upstairs and relax in front of his game. That's his thing. So I picked up a chicken hot pot because I don't know if I've bought one before. I possibly have. My memory's not that great. But I was just trying to break things up. We've got loads of room in the freezer. So I'm trying to stock up on things. It's nice for him to have a big choice rather than just the basic three things. This one was 85p. These are the burgers I was talking about. Always rave about these. These are really good. I don't have them that often because I'm really not into meat at the moment. Uh, but these ones are 100% chicken breast and they're not chopped and shaped. And they're in a very, very crispy coating. It's like a Rice Krispies coating. Now, before these were 160 again, I'm sorry, I forgot to check what the full price is now. I don't know if it's gone up from that at, like, at its full price price. <laughs> but normally they would reduce it down to a pound. They're not reducing it down to a pound. I've noticed it's only going down to 125 Again, price hikes, I know. So I'm just having to purchase these when they're £1.25. I will try and pay attention if I can remember. My, you know what my memory's like. So I know if you've been here a while, you'll forgive me that. Uh, but they are the perfect size to go in those buns. And I picked up some corn sausages. Now I must mention, at the moment, corn have got a deal on certain items where you can get four for six pounds which is a really really good price because on average most of the corn products are two pounds like a little bit under a little bit over but around the two pound mark these are actually one pound 90 i had a really good look but the other things i would have got weren't actually on the deal so it really wouldn't have benefited me because i would have been buying things for the sake of it and this will do me a week anyway i absolutely love the corn sausages so yeah, £1.90, I think I mentioned that. <laughs> uh, chicken curry I bought for Corey for the first time after a long time last week and he really enjoyed it. And these are actually 68p, so even better. Always get the beef lasagna, which I've got a feeling, I don't know if it's just because I've given him more choice or he's going off it, but there's one in the freezer still, I didn't realise. This one's £1.20, but he enjoys this way more than the Iceland one, which is cheaper. But yeah, he, could, he didn't even eat the Iceland one, so it was that bad. £1.77 I believe this is at the moment. Corey loves his Dr Pepper. Two for three pounds. So getting a better deal if you get two of them. And my absolute favourite crisps. I got the last two packets. And yes, somebody mentioned they've gone up to 90p. And they have in my store as well. So 90p for these now. When I first started picking these up. When I first started hauls. Beginning of lockdown. First lockdown I think I started my hauls. over was 70p. So these have now gone up 20p a pack. Oh, it doesn't sound much in two years, but it all adds up, doesn't it? So these are, you get 12 packets in there, and they're ready salted, but it's just the texture and the amount of salt in them is just perfect. They go really, really well on your tuna bakes as well. That's why I always get them. Now, I picked up these. Again, this was a price thing. Uh, got their chicken breast sliced, the, the already cooked ones, and there is 450 grams in that. Four... 70p. I don't know how much the original price is. The most expensive bit I can see on that is £3.65. So that was a really, really good deal. I, if they had more, I definitely would have stocked up on more. Corey's already got ideas for it. But I did stick it in the freezer because I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. Completely out of hash browns. These are a pound. They're just really good. They go with everything. And Corey wanted his chicken strips because he enjoys having ch chicken strips every week. Couldn't find anything like that. This was the only thing that I could find, and this is the battered chicken nuggets. But that's actually only £1.90. So price-wise, it was the best option out of all the different goujons. Now, I found goujons. <laughs> Let me know. I should have Googled what a goujon is. I thought a goujon was sort of like a chicken strip type thing. But what? Because I was feeling the shape of everything, because they had some different words. 
chicken something and I didn't know what it was so I felt it to see what the shape was and it was just poppers but the goujons I felt the shape of that as well and it was just a patty in there goujons aren't patties are they let me know uh, but yeah one pound ninety four 670 grams that's a really good price and this is Corey's cheesecake we are having uh his see for everybody's birthday they have a choice of whatever meal they want they can go out to a restaurant they can have any takeaway they want i can cook anything that is entirely up to it it's their birthday meal they they can have anything they want Corey said he just wants a quiet evening in we're going to pick up a takeaway um, now we're going to get a takeaway delivered and he wanted cheesecake as well I suggested cheesecake he wouldn't even go for a, a cake of any sort but I suggested that because I know he likes cheesecake and I'm just going to cut up some strawberries and put that around it but 77p for that is really really good price and that was all the Asda so I went in Asda oh no I went in Iceland specifically for this because I had a message from the lovely Michelle who I really appreciate her thinking of me she knows I go for American foods, ex-boyfriends are American, so, you know, we're into that type of thing, trying them out. So this is American-style chicken, bacon and waffle. It's a cheese-filled stuffed crust pizza topped with creme fraiche yoghurt sauce, chicken, bacon and waffle pieces with mozzarella cheese and a sweet maple syrup sauce. Sounds really good. I did make a little bit of a mistake. So this is actually £2.50. They do have another new uh, one, which is a hot dog one. There's more to it than that, but I just can't remember the other bit. I know the stuffed crust bit has got hot dogs. Was not paying attention because I was so excited that I found it. Because I know when they're new, they go out of stock. And I actually are out of stock now in my local store. Uh, but the deal is one for £2.50. Or you can get both for £4 if I'd paid attention. And I can't even say that you live and learn because I won't learn my lesson from it. Uh, Would have picked up the uh, sausage one as well. But hey-ho, we're going to try that this week, I will let you know. Another thing I found whilst I was in there, because Corey had already asked for the Crave before, I found a new one. And this is a cookies and cream, he has tried one. He said, it's okay. He said, don't buy it for me again, I appreciate it. But he wasn't that bothered about it. And this one was £3.00. I picked these ones up, something a bit different again. Bangers and mash for a pound. Cheesy beans and sausage for a pound. And I got these in Asda. Uh, I got these in Iceland because they're a pound. Yes, he's eaten them already because he was hungry before he went to bed this morning. Uh, they're a pound in Iceland, but they're still £1.50 in Asda. So definitely worth popping in Iceland if this is what you're after. So that was this week's shop. So in total, it came to 55 and change. So we're going right up closer to our budget price. Let's hope it oh I don't I see I'm, as soon as I'm about to say something I think so yes I was going to say let's hope it's going to stay about where it is now because we've just had this big price hike but don't we have one in April as well or is that something else can't remember let's hope it doesn't go up much more because we're getting close to my top budget and you know with the whole fuel prices changing and uh, council taxes going up and all this rubbish that's going on with everything right now i can't put my food budget up <laughs> we are being exhausted in every other expense there is out there right now so um yeah hey if if it comes to it we'll just have to start doing other type budget food shopping now if i have to go up there at six or seven in the evening and just get yellow stickers and make meals out of that then that will be a new new way of going with my channel i guess um that's what my channel is it's real life and we will figure it out we don't have a big budget to play with so we'll have to figure it out and uh, i know there's a lot of people out there in the same situation as me so yeah so that is our haul this week um just about managed it time is getting on i'm gonna have to really get on with the editing now i've got to feed the doggies because that's what they're pacing for right now so that's it for this week i hope you're having a lovely weekend and hopefully i will get something out to you during the week oh so if you have you're newly subscribed and you're still here well done you i'm impressed i don't forget to click the notification bell because then you'll be notified of anything that i do upload during the week i know you know now that i do the the haul on a Saturday at five o'clock but uh the ones during the week aren't set days or set times they're just as and when depending on what happens so yeah don't forget to do that if you want to see them 
and i will see you in the next one i need to stop talking bye